Hey, Buff Nation, voice of the bus, Mark Johnson here, ahead of the 2022 season out here in the practice field after they went full pads, by the way, today. Joining us, a wide receiver, Daniel Arias, one of the veterans for the Buffaloes. All right, uh, I talked to a linebacker, and they said he loves the fact you're going full pads. How does a receiver feel about going full pads? I mean, it just feels like another day. It doesn't really feel like <laughs> nothing new because I've been here before, so it's just, it's just another day of work. Is that part of the preparation, the conditioning? I mean, there's, there's running, you do conditioning in that regard, there's lifting. Do you need to condition yourself to accept kind of that physical contact you're going to see in a game? Yeah, because, I mean, you have extra gear on you, so you have to just be ready for the extra conditioning and the extra weight on you. So it's, it's a lot of conditioning. And, like, the running, the amount of running that I do helps a lot. So, yeah. How did you get yourself ready for this season? Uh, mentally, I talked to the right people, surrounded myself with the right people. I so close to my mentors and um, you know I did a lot of film studying with the coach and a lot of extra work after weight room or after on the weekends I did extra work so I came with the QBs and we just try to be on the same page just so when we're out here we're making the right plays. Daniel is that part uh, maybe the, the best part or, or most important part of growing up as a player is the film study the mental aspect of what you do? I feel that's a, that's a really important, but then also just being on the field with your QB and being on the same page, because if you're one on one like on the weekend, just just so with your QBs, it just helps a lot. And you got to really good talk about, all right, look, it, this is this is what I'm gonna do when I'm here at this yard. This is what I like to do. So it's just for me, I like watching film my QBs, but also I like being on the field and being able to work with them, so then they know how I'm moving and so they know when I break, when to throw the ball. So that one-on-one -on -one field work is really important. That's what we did a lot this, this offseason. You know, the, the new world of college athletics, right? Your rosters change now because of the transfer portal. You've become a veteran guy, number one, because you've been here a number of years, improved yourself. Number two, the way things change a little bit in that receiver's room. Is there is a responsibility that comes with being a guy that's, uh, you know, one of the elder statesmen, if you will? I mean, it does. It, there's a lot that comes with to it because the young guys are always looking at you. They're always watching what you do, so you have to lead – a good example of doing the right things at all, all the time and being on time to meetings because they're they're watching you um i know that when during uh, one of our practice last week my one of my teammates a freshman was looking at me and he asked me hey i didn't know how do you do this and this and that so i'm aware that my teammates are watching me so i have to be an example for them and always do the right thing so then they could follow yeah, you're kind of a sage out there aren't you? I mean, you got to dispense some wisdom every once to those young fellas <laughs> <laughs> i mean yeah i mean i just I'm all, I mean, I'm always just trying to help them, and I'm, I'm, I'm always learning from them, too, so it's not just me. Just I'm always open to learn what they're doing so then I can put it to my game. So we're, we're always just learning off from each other. So it's not just me. It's, it's them, too. You know, uh, Buff fans out there seeing these interviews or reading the different articles by Neil Welk at CUBuffs.com and other areas, and they're hearing about improvement in this football team, okay? You tell them, as you look at this offense, Where's the improvement, and, and how much improvement are you seeing offensively from what they maybe fans saw, you know, at the end of November last year? The amount of improvement that we're going to do is we're going to score. I know last year we we struggled with that, but this year we have an offense. So when we're going to run the ball, we're going to run the ball. When we're going to throw the ball, we're going to throw the ball. When we when we when we take shots, we're going to take shots, and we're going to complete the shots. So it's going to be a fun season, and I'm excited. Love it. Lastly here, you got a new position coach, Phil McGagan, long time in the NFL, played in the NFL, coaching the NFL for a long time. How's he been to deal with and work with? He's been really awesome. Yeah. He's been a great coach to me just because he's not just a coach, but he's also a mentor, a friend. Um, I know when things don't know, go right on the field, he's always just there trying to motivate us, trying to push us. So what I like about him is that during practice, he's not always yelling at us. He just steps back, lets us play. And I really like that about him because he's not just always in our ear. Like, we have an assignment and we have to do it. If we mess up, he's not going to nag you on the field. And that's what I really like because it's like your head is clear so you can just play the game that you love. So, But he's also, he's just really a nice guy, a really cool guy to be around. And I really like him because he brought that confidence back into me. And that's what I was missing. So shout out to him. And I'm standing here looking at him. You and I are looking eye to eye. You're a very big receiver, man. You, you've gotten bigger since you came on campus, haven't you? I mean, I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you what, I know this. He's going to have a big season. Good luck this year. Thank you. All right, number six, Daniel Arias joining us as we look ahead of the 2022 season. Uh, stop.